Hey, Teresa. All right, we got Teresa in class. They got a Hardeman somewhere. I'm not sure what the Hardeman that is. Maybe both. Hey, Teresa, let us know if you can hear both of us. Hey. Here. Hey, Kara. All right, we're just going to say we got both Pat and Renee here. <laughs> That's what we'll say. I can't tell which one that is. They're both in the profile pictures. How do you, how do you know? And they're gone, so they didn't even turn the stage. All right, we'll go just a couple more minutes, guys. We'll get started. We'll be starting here in just a moment. Let's get this show started. We are ready to rock and roll today. Headsets on. Say hey, Brittany Ann. Hey. Yeah, we both got headsets on. Uh, <laughs> let us know you can hear both of us. We're all ready to rock and roll for the day. Uh, got it where you can hear us both up and puff. That was kind of the idea. Um, but then again, if, if Brittany has something to share with you guys as well, um, you, have, you have an opportunity to share. So if you don't know, if you're tuning in from the Navarre School today with us, we're glad to have you, Navarre. Uh, thanks for hanging out for the cycle. And uh, Team Pace, uh, make sure at 4 o'clock you tune in each Monday and Wednesday for a workout routine hosted by Mr. Kylie. Uh, Mr. Kylie will be doing our crowd workout pattern, and we're going to be doing the curriculum work. We're going to work a little bit today, too, though, to be a good time. So uh, we're actually doing something a little different. Uh, this is supposed to be, for our Pace School, our testing week. Kind of sad face, right? Uh, with the testing week means, uh, obviously, we can't exam because i got to be able to be there with you guys and thump around. So we got to get through all this stuff before we can exam. So um, thought it best to go ahead and pick up where we would leave off past this week. We'll go back and revisit our testing week. As soon as we're all back in the building, we might just make a whole day of it even. I think that would be the best option. And um, from that, uh, what we'll do then instead is we're going to treat today like week one, day one. So congratulations. Everybody just got to miss the testing portion. <laughs> we'll get after it, and we'll make it good. So come together, and get out, and... Loose, good neck rolls first, getting loose. How was your day? Pretty good. It was good? I came home for lunch just to kind of sneak a quick bite at lunch, and uh, she was mowing the lawn. Yes, I so, was. Yeah. 
I'm very appreciative of that. Shoulders back. <laughs> Just one less thing. So it makes it real great. And shoulders forward. And cross your body. I hope your weekends went well. Hope you all just stayed indoors and avoided Walmart altogether. Right? Right. Yeah. And hip rolls. And hopefully you went outside, got some sun, enjoyed the time with your family, you got a chance to get out and do something else. And other direction. And hands to your knees, good knee rolls. I did. It was a restful weekend. <laughs> it was a restful weekend for you. Yeah. yeah. Other direction. And good ankle roll one. And two. All right. So just do a very, very brief one more for us, guys. I've got a timer here set up for us to go through it. Each routine is 15 seconds, followed by a five-second break. Just going through all the normal routines we typically do. It's normally 30 seconds per, but we got 30 minutes to make an hour work. So we're going to make the best of it now. So here we go. On the whistle. Here we go. 10 seconds to get started. Just take a moment. Roll that out still. We're going to get ready to do some easy jogging as soon as the bell rings. Light jog, light jog, light jog. And go. We're on. Just easy jog. Just 15 seconds of easy jogging in place. Oh, oh, that's the warning bell. <laughs> I messed myself up with the warning bell. So there'll be two bells. Break for a moment. Just roll that ankle out again. Here we go. And we're up. Knees up. Here we go. Yep. Keep going. And roll them out again. Take a second. Here we go. In place butt kicks. Go. Keep going. And on that side shuffle, easy push. light push. Here we go. If you have a partner at home, great. If not, we're going to play. Shoulders. <laughs> You're doing something today. <laughs> Last week got away with it. Oh. Got it today. That's off my game last time. Take a second. Oh. Change partners. Okay. And knees. Nope, nope, almost. Darn. <laughs> okay, shoulders and knees. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Here we go. Elbows. I'm not doing those. You're not doing elbows? I'm not doing them. <laughs> Doesn't matter. What oh, look, it's saying. like we're back in rock class. What is <laughs> if I don't put them out there, you can't get them. It? <laughs> Good job. Good job at home to you guys, too. Uh, call that time. Okay, so we're going to be real brief and real quick through our material for you guys today for week one. Uh, as we go over and review the material, make sure you're working at home with us. We're going to have a little bit of impact in some bags for you, but the biggest part is just you making sure that you're moving and you're going through the routine best you can. If you have a home partner, someone who you're forced to be around that you can't necessarily social distance from, no matter how hard I try, um, then, you know, great. Use that partner at home. Terry, grab your husband, drag him in the living room with you when he gets home. Um, if you don't have a partner, you may have to modify this home slightly for yourself while you're going through the material just to go through the motions and make sure you're staying tight on your material for you. So we'll start first with our combatives this week. Combatives are ballistic attacks we use to neutralize a threat. This week's combative work, starting with a long-range combative, is the groin kick. The idea in the groin kick, when she sets it up, is I'm standing here, she's got those nice toes pointed, and she's got plenty of range from that foot as it comes up and makes that strike 
lifting your dorsal of the foot and striking from the bottom. You want to kick them all the way up, make them swallow them all the way back down. That's the idea. From the back foot on the contact, from there, getting the reach, knee, toes, point, and then sets back behind you. We're working together. Hands up. Find your comfort zone, your comfort line. Put your left foot back. And on the groin kick, ready? And kick. Point the toes and work. Kick. And kick. Switch. And kick. Good kick. Good kick. Ready? And keep working through that. Go ahead, just keep working your routine. You're doing great. Now, while you're working this, keep in mind, it's a groin kick. So I don't have to come up here and kick way up here. I can just work that body and work that frame just to the waist high. If you're a little shorter, kick a little higher, but there's no need to can-can this kick. It just needs to be high enough. No one's kicking Optimus Prime today, and <laughs> that's the goal. Okay. The next one's going to be our eye jab. Now, on the eye jab, um, if you're part of the pace location, you know I say this all the time. A jab is a jab is a jab, okay? Whether it be a straight jab, a nice straight jab, throat jab, any of this routine, it's the same set of rules that apply. It's a front hand technique. The most important part of the front hand technique isn't just our extension of our hand, but our step of our front foot to close that range and distance and allow for that contact using the, the fingertips and the edge of the fingertips scraping into the eye and just past the eye. So I'm making that contact Ow, that's the idea. Make that hard brain reset. Okay, so I'm in, ready, she shoots it, bang, that's the idea. She can put them both together. She can go the groin kick. Boom, set back, eye jab. This is the idea, okay? So what I want you to work on, don't just get your extension of your hand, let it drop. I want to make sure we're working on a very important key word when it comes to any kind of straight punch, any punching in general, right? I want to work on retraction. So if I shoot that hand out and get that extension, I got to bring it right back. Suck it back to your face so you can then use it again. So with us, hands up, ready? Facing this way, fingertips with a jab, ready? And I scrape, jab, 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 switch hands. Now we switched hands to do our other hand. If I shoot from the back hand, that's not an I scrape from the front side. In order to make that right hand work, I've got to put my right foot forward. Hope that makes sense at home, okay? Fingertips tied and jab, jab, jab. Go one more cycle, hands up, fingertips, and jab, 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 and other direction one more time, jab, 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 excellent, real happy. Okay, so the next thing I have to work through tonight is the knee. Now, when you're working to the knee, the first thing that needs to happen is there has to be some kind of connection. Just for tonight's work, I'm going to have her reach up and connect to my shoulder. So hands to shoulder and the connection here. The connection is important because if she tries to strike with the knee from a freestanding position, I can create space. And obviously with the knee, it's extremely close body contact. So I've got to have that point of connection first. So when I go to throw the knee, it's most effective. You're going to point the toe same as you do for your groin kick. So same motion. It just cuts shy now and rolls the knee strike instead. So from the shoulder, she makes connection. Reach out with the hands, pull through. There's the point of contact. Diaphragm, groin. She can come into the face and head. This is the idea. Getting that top of the knee, the concusses with that thigh line, rolling through the tip of the knee to cut and to break. Okay? This is the work. So hands up ready, facing forward, and reach out to grab. Pull in, knee one. Put it back behind you. Roll the hips through. Knee two, good. Knee three, pull it in. Your upper body is just as important as your lower body. Other side, ready, grab, and knee one. Good. Again, pull for knee two. Pull again for knee three. Excellent. Great work, okay? We're going to work some combatives for you just to get a good feel of what it looks like. And then from there, we're going to get to our drill work for you guys. So hands up. If you don't have a partner or a bag at home to work on, okay, uh, I'm sorry, we do. We're going to work with a partner that we have tonight. So working through our groin kick first. A couple of key things in the target. If you are holding a target, make sure you're holding it safe. Gentlemen, don't hold too close here. It's a bad day for you because you might overreach it and it ends in a bad spot. Get target away from you. And remember to give that positive feedback. If you're kicking something dead that doesn't move, it's not going to have that real, that real engagement, that real pop. To get that pop, get that pop back to it. Brittany, and we're going to go through uh, three on each side. Ready on the groin kicks? And go. One, two, three. I like that pop. And one, two, three. You guys like it? Okay, on the ice scrape, here we go. Working our target real fast, getting something easy to dangle. You can just hold the palm up at home. I've got something here to work on too, just to give that look. So from here, on the ice scrape, one. Good, reset back. Watch that step. Two, be mindful not to overstep. 
Keep that step real shallow so you're not lunging. You want to step in and bring your right back. Keep your hips and your weight underneath your body. And three. Good. Switch feet. Same idea, same line. One. Good. Two. And three. Got to get that breath out. So I give you a mic. <laughs> got to be able to hear what you're working on, okay? And on the knee. Now, just to kind of make sure we get a little bit of clarity, you're going to grab on target today. Pull from the target, pulling through, and knee. One. Good. And two. Good. And three. Beautiful. Other side. And one. Good. And two. Good. And three. Excellent. Great work. Okay? Just that chance again to see how it looks, see how it feels. You can work this at your own time at home and just run, run through it. Um, ready for something fun? Here we go. We've got a full 60-second challenge for you guys. We're going to work everything to the air. Now, here is the deal. You're going to start first with your groin kicks. Three right, three left. Three right, three left. When the whistle blows, you're going to move from groin kicks down to push-ups. Okay? From there, you're going to stand up on the next whistle, blow right into your knees, and then we're going to end today with jumping jacks. So you get a full routine of just constant moving just for you. You said you weren't excited about jumping jacks? No. Nope. Not at all. Okay. So 15 seconds on, 15 seconds on transition, handy dandy notebook, and we got it. Here we go. All right. Starting first with the groin kicks. And this is your fatigue drill. Now, keep in mind, your fatigue drill simulates energy depletion you feel in an actual confrontation. Work through this with as much, much effort as you can. Get that sweat going, guys. Here we go. Keep your Timer hands starts up. in 10 seconds. We got 10 seconds to prepare. Take a breath. Whew. Hands up ready. Three and three. Constantly switching for a full 15 seconds. Here we go. And go. We're on. One, two, three. Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Keep your hands yeah. tight. Yeah, keep going. Ha. 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 Keep going. And we're down. Push ups. Here we go. One. Hit the mic on the floor. Get them elbows down. Bend that body. <laughs> Get lower. Like you pushed them over all day. Come on. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And we're up. Here we go. Knees. Right to the knees. Don't let your body stop. Keep going. Push, push, push. Ten seconds left. Come on. Keep going. Jumping jacks. Finish. Finish. No. Finish. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Time. I hope you all did great out there in TV land. We did good too. Okay. Great work, guys. Take a second and breathe. We'll come right back to the next thing. <laughs> okay. All right, we're back. You guys can hear us okay? Perfect. I love that. Keep beating on your son, Carrie. That's what we're here for. Give you an excuse. You have all the excuses in the world. Fantastic. So we're going to shift modes on you guys into your defensive tactic for this week. Methods we use to deflect, intercept, or, or evade. evade an oncoming attack. This week's tactic, we're going to be going over our reflexive cover work. Now, um, to make this the most productive, there are a couple key things that have to happen. I've got this stupid thing on my face, so I'll try to work around it best I can, okay? Now, the idea here is what I want to make happen is I'm going to actually shell my body. Let's talk about a couple mechanics real fast, though, okay? Because the most important part of this cover isn't the cover itself, right? The most important part of this cover is actually taking my body and getting really close. So you can't practice social distancing here with this cover. Okay? That's a terrible joke. It's terrible. It's a terrible joke. Um, we'll work on it for We'll get better for as we go. Um, 
But you want to make sure you're very, very close. And it's very important because I'm coming in to cover and protect against. I've got to be able to counter, gain control. If I stay out wide and protect against that wide swing and stay here, the follow-up for them is very easy, right? But by getting in real close and really closing the gap up, the follow-up now, not so easy. If anything, I get the follow-up instead. So the most important part isn't getting the cover. It's getting inside their range, shutting down their opportunity. That's the first step. The second part of this becomes the cover. And the covers are just there to, to do that. They're just there to cover. They're just there to protect what's important, the head, the spine, the soft, gooey, squishy parts, right? This is important here to make sure all of that is taken care of. I do this by developing my frame. Chin always down, right? Why chin always down? Week one, day one, let's talk about it. If my chin is down and I'm getting peppered, right, this is okay. It's not fun, but it's okay. If my chin is up and I get whopped, that's a bad day. This is night-night. This is still relatively okay. Here is good. Here is not good. So chin is down. The next part, once the chin is down, is everything's going to tuck in tight. If I'm playing high, I'm going to take my hand up high. I'm going to actually grab it down to the base of my skull. Now, you'll notice that my hand is off. Let me show you this. I want to set this up. I want to set this up where I am framed up tight. There's no air, and there's no light through that arm. I'm using my tricep and my bicep the best I can to cover and protect. Okay? If I'm playing high on one side, or if I'm playing high on the other side, it's the same idea. High and tight, everything cinches and hunches down. You got it? You got it. Now, if I'm playing low, a different story. From here to play low, again, chin comes in real tight. I'm going to take my fingertips. I'm an eyebrow grabber, so I'm going to grab up here, fingertips to the eyebrow, and bring my elbow down to cover the front of my hip. This is important. Your sides take care of themselves. You cover the front. The sides take care of themselves. So no, yes. Cover the front because while I'm stepping forward, now I'm inside that range. Let's look at all four. We're going to swing it two times from each side and give you a couple angles to work on, okay? So we'll give you a couple different looks for the angles to play. So from here, she plays high on one. Boom. Notice how my other hand's also up. Why? So I can hit her back. Other side, same play. Ah, cinch it down. Notice how I'm not switching feet. I'm keeping myself all framed up. Tie and protect it. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good and good. One more time. High, high, low, low. We'll switch sides. Same idea again. High, high, low, low, high. Notice how I'm really stepping in. This is important. I'm getting in. I don't want to hang out out here. I've got to get in. Okay, high. You're good. High. Low. Low. Okay, different angle again. Just give some looks. Okay, and high. High. Low. Low. Final time. One more time. High. High. Low and low. Okay, here we go. Now, for your uh, just a quick work through. We're going to work it together. What I want you to do is I want you to work with me and respond and follow me. So this is your awareness drill. Your awareness drill helps you develop reflex and adaptation. What's going to happen is I'm going to call it out. I'm going to turn my back to you so you see which side I'm using. I'm going to call it out. You're going to follow me for the next 30 seconds, okay? And I want you to try to keep up with me. I'm going to go quick. It's a quick, quick movement, and then reset back. So hands up, ready? And follow me, follow me, follow me. Ready? And high. High. High, high, low, low. Stay the same side, low, low. There you go. High, high. Mess you up, high, high, low, 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 high, high, low, low, high, high, low, low. High, low, high, low. That was just for you. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Excellent. Um, okay, again, the key points of that cover, making sure I'm framed up and fully protected, okay, and making sure most important that my body gets in. How far in? All. All the end. Someone write that down. All the end. All the end. Okay, shifting modes for you guys. 
Getting kind of close on time here. We got to get real close. We got to get real close. Let's talk about our board for the week. So we're back to week one, day one. Uh, take this a little higher. Perfect. Principles we create. Principles of Krav Maga. On week one, day one, here's our conversation. We use whatever works. We operate on the premise that there are no limiting rules of engagement when it comes to protecting yourself. This is a three-part process. One, address the immediate danger. Two, violently counterattack. Three, disengage and then evacuate the danger zone. Our goal is to dominate and neutralize the threat as quickly as possible. We do not want to get into a fight and exchange blow for blow with someone we don't know anything about. I don't know how fast they are. I don't know how strong they are. I don't know what, what they know. Here's the fight that I know, my fight. And it's my fight that's going to control the conversation, okay? We operate in the principle of Bretzek, continuous and aggressive combat motion to overwhelm the opposition. We reset the attacker's thought process by doing two things. One, we inflict pain and disrupt their balance. You don't beat someone physically. You beat them physiologically and psychologically. All attacks are targeted to neutral, to, excuse me, to vulnerable parts of the body, such as the eyes, nose, ears, throat, groin, knees, the spine. If I punch him in the arm, I've just poked the bear. If I punch him in the chest, let me just take them off. I got to make sure that I'm making every moment count. Finally, during and after the conflict, I maintain situational awareness while dealing with my threat in order to look for additional attackers, escape routes, or a weapon of opportunity. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I did too. Let's go on to the last part of the day. Now, we're going to work into our first self-defense for this cycle. Again, there's a way to work it without a partner, but you have to just kind of get the mechanic right. And if you're coordinated to play to the air, great. I work best with the partner. It's why I had to invite my beautiful wife again, who I'm not allowed to social distance from. <laughs> I tried, okay? Um, but uh, so we can touch, right? We live together. I'm around her all day long. I know where she's been. We've been in the same places. That's how that works, okay? Um, if you have someone at home you can work with, great. If you don't, um, study. Work this best you can. And when we get back in the building, guys, we'll be ready to rock and roll full speed. So here is your first self-defense, an attack initiated to you that puts you in a position of disadvantage, your front choke. The front choke has a lot of mechanics to it. When the front choke comes in and there's contact made, um, key most important thing, this is my favorite joke, so all men of our guys tuning in, I want you to laugh, okay? Because you're going to go, that's the greatest trick ever. All my pace guys are going to roll their eyes, okay? Here's the rule of thumb when it comes to choking. All the strength comes from her thumbs. If I remove one hand and only one hand remains, I can breathe. Okay? If she starts to choke with one hand and I remove one hand, I can breathe. Unless she's Darth Vader. And then, yeah, that's, see, that, that's, that's terrible. Somebody give me some crying dies, some, something. Okay? That, that, that's terrible. Okay? So from the choke, both hands are on. Now, I want you to think this isn't necessarily to the air like this, right? Because from here, I can just stop choking me. Right? I can back up. The odds are what's happened is there's something behind me, like this wall, right? So she jams me up. Wait, it's drywall. Be nice, okay? She jams me up against the wall. And <laughs> that's what push ups earlier, right? And I don't have anywhere to go now. Can't go left, can't go right. So my best option now is to go through. So when I'm going through, here's my look. I'm going to come over top with my left hand and I'm going to peel that hand off and down. This is important. I get as far off as I can. We know a little bit's all we need, but I want as far as I can. Coming from underneath the chin, I'm going to draw the chin forward, roll to the toes, and then this allows me to engage my side control. So wrapping the head, that hand that originally peeled is going to lock to the shoulder, drawing everything down. There's my knee. There's my groin. There's my punch. Watch again from a different angle. Chokes. One, two, three, one. Two, three, disengage. Let's give you a different angle again, just a different look. So you can see and work it. One, now for her safety, I went past her neck. This is the look I want. This is what we're going to work on when you practice, okay? Just so you can save everybody's spine. You know, Renee, you're not going to have to break your husband at home. That's the idea. Okay, come through, unless you want to. Strike, 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 disengage. Let's go one more time today at a different angle. So on, 
want 